That's a fun drive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always one of my favorites. <laughs> nice and twisty turny. That's the way it is in Custer State Park. So we're here at Sylvan Lake, and Lindsay's going to get out and take some beautiful pictures. Dogs and I are going to watch sunset. <laughs> Enjoy the sunset. We've got some clouds, and it looks like the sun is over there. So, so that's good. Yeah, hopefully we get some colors. Look at those glasses. <laughs> there they are. Yeah, I forgot I had them on. <laughs> Let's go do this. reflection and I want to get colors of the sunset with all of this I want these rocks all the rocks as much as the lake I can fit in as possible so we'll see if I need my wide angle or my ultra ultra wide Love this diet. Paleo, paleo, paleo. It's been so good for me. Got a little fresh burger and bacon. Did put a little cheese on there, so I'm cheating paleo a little bit. But it's fantastic, and this is the way I roll. Mm hmm. Who's jealous? That was tasty. Yeah. So I mentioned paleo diet. I have uh, high cholesterol and like many Americans, I've got high cholesterol and fatty liver. I can speak past tense because I've pretty much been cured of both. And it's been, um, it's been paleo for a lot and uh, intermittent fasting and the guidance of our very good friends. If you're interested at all in uh, how I've revolutionized my diet, haven't shared much about how that's happened, but Lindsay did show you in the last video about our, all of our supplements that we take. We take a ton of supplements, all natural, all healthy, all good for us, and, uh, and then we eat well, and we, uh, we exercise, and we do things that are good for us. And my cholesterol has come under control, and my fatty liver has all but disappeared, so it's been pretty awesome. And uh, that's part of our story we're gonna be sharing more is our health journey. Just waiting on the colors, waiting on the colors. What colors? Getting there. Some more yellows, some more oranges, less blue. <laughs> Hopefully we get it. Cause last night sunset was, it was pretty. And it's there's cold. A, <laughs> and there's like three people. Yeah, it's nice. This is the quietest I've seen this place. Usually that parking lot over there is full, completely full. <laughs> and then every spot around the lake. It's full. Yeah. Every place that's not a parking spot is usually taken up by people who make it a parking spot. Yeah, this is Disney World. I mean, it's beautiful. So there are four lodges in Custer State Park. We work at one of them, and there are three others. So we're at Sylvan Lake right now, which is not the one that we work at. We work um, at the best lodge in the park. What? We work at the best lodge in the park. We do. It's phenomenal, but like we said already, best boss, best co-workers. Best place to live. I mean, it's just been a, an amazing experience for us. And all these places, all the lodges are within 15, 20 minutes of each other, give or take. So of course we brought you along on the drive to get out here, but this is totally different experience from where we live. We're more on the Southern end. We're more in the Ponderosa Pines. So we're covered up a lot. We don't actually have our own lake. We've got French Creek that flows by, um, but we don't have our own lake. This is just, I mean, it's stunning. And this is one of the most popular places in the park to go at Sylvan Lake. 
So a lot of the big hikes start here. And in fact, on Saturday, we're gonna go for a hike and uh, we'll take you along for that, of course. It's one of our favorite. It's the most beautiful place in this entire area. But for tonight, this is pretty, pretty special. What's up? The colors, it's stopping right there. So. How do you feel about the colors now? It's, it's pretty. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted. Maybe a little more, but I almost gave up. Let's see, gotta be patient with photography. Yeah, gotta be patient. Let's look at that. As we've shared, we've been working a lot over the last couple months um, with our website and websites with the special stuff we've got going on with Baja that we'll be sharing soon. Um, of course, our nine to five jobs, which were a lot longer than nine to five jobs, but we still take time to get out and enjoy this beautiful stuff. And uh, we kind of waited till the people were leaving, which it's now the middle of October and the people are gone. So we can enjoy a lot of the park to ourselves. Well, mostly to ourselves. Lindsay's pretty happy with what she got, and uh, so we're gonna head back. Huckleberry. The OGS are upset that they didn't go for SWIM because they love getting in the water out here, but we're not letting that happen. Temperatures drop, and it's like, I don't know, 50 degrees? Getting into the lower or upper 40s. And, uh, yeah, it's gotta be in the 40s. Yeah, so. We're going to head back to our home in the Ponderosa Pines and we'll bring you along to the next little mini adventure. Again, this is kind of our farewell tour of the park. We're not going to show you everything or at the peak of everything that's going on, but we do want to show you some of our favorite places and how we enjoy this time, particularly the quiet time now that uh, things are wrapping up. So we'll see you shortly. What you got going on? Good morning. It's a little too early. A little too early. It's almost eight o'clock. And it's cold. <laughs> It's almost eight. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oops. We woke up this morning. It's cold. It is 41 degrees right now at almost eight o'clock. But we told you we're going to finish up our farewell tour with our favorite hike. We're going to go hike Little Devil's Tower. It is a spectacular hike. It's going to be cold. We know that. So we're all bundled up in layers. And uh, we're going to take the dogs, of course, and go see... The reason why we love Little Devil's Tower, which is we see everything see when we get up there. Yeah. So we get to literally say goodbye to everything within, I don't know, 50 miles or so that you can see. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. I think it's the most underrated hike in the park. I think everyone goes to do Black Elk Peak or Cathedral Spires. And, and they totally now, miss out on this one. <laughs> now that you told the three people watching this, yeah. it's going to blow up. And, it's going to blow and up. And we're going to be responsible for that, and I'm going to feel guilty. Yeah. You should have said it's the most popular hike. You should avoid it. <laughs> it's beautiful. We're going to go do it. One other thing about this hike is it's actually a work trip for us because we're doing a, uh, a video that we're getting paid for. We'll take you more into our world of how we make money and how we continue to stay on the road. Obviously, work camping is part of that, but we also run a pretty awesome business where you are a part of that by watching this video right now. Um, but we're gonna go out and represent WMP eyewear. Some really awesome sunglasses are gonna go take out on the hike because it's gonna be a sunny morning. Even though it's cold, it's gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna be styling the Wesley style glasses. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take you there. Huckleberry, uh-uh. And here we go, onto the trail.
So we're at the top of Little Devil's Tower and maybe now you can see why we love it so much. Yeah, the views from up here are spectacular. I think it's the best, the best views in the park. Better than Black Elk Peak just because Black Elk Peak is so much high and further away, but that's it behind us. You can see the fire tower at the top. Um, Cathedral Spires is just behind us um, over here. So the sun is directly behind us. I don't know how much you can see, but you can see directly over the top of the spires and it is amazing. And last time we were up here, we could see the mountain goats. <laughs> we were looking down on them. Uh, it was really cool. So yeah. this, is, this is our favorite hike. We do it as often as we can just to get out. The dogs know the trail really well. They don't even have to tell them. They know exactly where to go. They know exactly where we are. And they love being at the top because there's little chippies up here. Little chipmunks. Yeah, we call them chippies. But, <laughs> so this is the end of our farewell tour. We hope you have appreciated what little we've been able to share of Custer State Park with you. It's, uh, it's special to us for sure. And uh, we think it'd be special for you too if you pass through here. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. Like this video, leave a comment, a positive comment. We'll get back to you on that. Thanks for being a part of our wander. Who wants to go for a hike? One of the things we love about living and working seasonally in Custer State Park is all the great hiking in the Black Hills. With many different trails to explore, our favorite hike is to the top of Little Devil's Tower. The hike is a 3.8 mile out and back, considered moderate to challenging because it's almost all uphill on the way out. Toward the end of the trail, you do a little rock scrambling, and if you're hiking with your furry buddies like we do, you may have to give them a hand up from time to time. But the views are absolutely worth it, and even better with a great pair of sunglasses like the Wesley model I wear from WMP Eyewear. Incredibly reasonably priced, comfortable and lightweight, I hardly notice these glasses are even there. There's nothing better on a day off than hitting the trails with your two best friends and a great pair of sunglasses for views like these.